Good morning, Miriam. Good morning, Stan. How are you, sir? I'm fine today. Search and play testimonies by the Williams brothers. Searching. Sorry, but unfortunately, I am unable to locate that information. Okay, try brothers. Real talk. Yes, sir. Searching. Sir, your request has been located. Thank you. Proceed to play. Doug Williams. I remember I had to have surgery to have a tennis ball sized tumor removed from my throat area. And my calcium level in my body was almost twice as high as it should have been. And I had four different doctors to tell me that I shouldn't even be alive. And uh, I went home from the surgery. And then all of my organs started to shut down on me. And I had to be rushed back to the hospital. And I remember laying in that hospital and God speaking to me saying, you shall live and not die to declare the works of the Lord. And um, I'm here today because of God's grace and his mercy. I sat at home for three and a half months wondering if I'd ever be able to sing again because the surgery was so close to my vocal cords. But God said, it's not over. There's more work for you to do. And I'm here by the grace of God right now. Thank God. Andre Tate. November of 2004, I suffered a stroke. And during the healing process from that particular stroke, three weeks later, I suffered another stroke which made things a lot, a lot more harder uh, to heal from. Uh, I had to go to a lot of rehabilitation, basically learn how to walk again, learn how to talk again, uh, a lot of speech therapy, a lot of practices using my thinking capabilities, a lot of uh, just basically holding things in my hand. Um, being that I was a gospel singer at the time, uh, it was a lot harder because um, I wasn't able to remember songs and things like that. But uh, thank God through the healing power of, of, of God, I was able to overcome that with uh, full activity of my limbs, of my legs, hands, my thinking capabilities, uh, my speech therapy, uh, all of that. I, I was able to be healed from that. So I tell anyone that uh, God is definitely a healer and no matter what you go through in life, whether it's sickness or anything else, God is still able. Melvin Williams. You know, I've been through a lot in my life, a lot of changes, a lot of ups and downs, but nothing as devastating as losing a child. As a matter of fact, losing my first child at 35 years old. You know, sleepless nights, lonely days, to the fact that I even questioned God, why? And uh, we were in Carolina doing a concert with the guys and uh, we had got together on what we were going to sing that day and in the midst of that concert uh, God spoke to me and just said sing God will deliver on time so I turned around and, and I told the musicians to start playing it they looked at me like what is he talking about so one of the guys started playing it and uh, I started singing it and the Holy Spirit of God in the anointing just filled that building, man. I was in a whole nother zone. I didn't even know what I was doing. And, but even in the midst of that, I questioned God again and said, why? And God spoke to me that day and simply said, why not? And it was at that moment, man, when my healing process began. And I can truly say that it's nothing but the grace of God and a whole lot of prayer that's bringing me through. And I just want everybody to know that prayer changes things. Henry Green. I just want to say to all of my friends and loved ones, y'all, I appreciate y'all because back in February, I had a bad accident. I mean, I got hit bad. And I read that in Jackson, Mississippi. I laid right there in the midst of this hospital for five days. Didn't know who was going and coming. My friends and loved ones coming in to visit with me. I didn't even know I just laying there. Didn't know anybody. And my family would tell me, 
sitting since I came to see you. But uh, I, I, I had a wreck, y'all. A bad accident with the train. But you know one thing I can say. As hard as that train was, and as hard as that leak was, God blocked it. God blocked it. And I want to say God will make a way for you. It was hard on me, y'all. And all of my friends and loved ones that came by to see me, prayed with me, I appreciate that. And I, I want to say to my family and my friends and the William brothers, I appreciate all of y'all for standing by me. So many people said, the William brothers do with him now, but I know better than that couple. We've been together too long and got too much love for each other for y'all to just walk off and leave me. I know they didn't know what they were talking about. And I just want to say to all of y'all, if you down and out, try God, because he'll make a way when it seems like there's no way to be made. 